Hey, what's up, CDM Girls Volleyball? Welcome to episode five of your virtual strength conditioning program. Today's workout is going to be a fun one. We got a lot to fit in, um, so we're going to start right off the bat here uh, with our first strength circuit. Okay, most everything is going to be body weight. The only other thing that you're going to need today is a jump rope. Okay, and some open space on a wall and about. 10 to 15 feet of floor space, okay? First thing we're gonna do is an alternating curtsy lunge. This will be for 60 seconds. Toes straight ahead, I'm gonna step behind and back of my forward leg, drop down, touch my knee to the ground, get as close as I can, and then step up and alternate to the other side, okay? So key is here is depth, okay? And making sure that my shoulders stay square and my forward toe stays straight ahead the whole time. 60 seconds in two, one, go. We're just gonna alternate sides, like I said, get down nice and low, keep that chest straight ahead. Try to step behind and back uh, in that front leg, okay? Reach at about a 45 degree angle behind uh, to the side. Just nice, steady pace, control especially on the way down. Smooth movement here, smooth movement. Remember, toes straight ahead, shoulders square. We got about 20 seconds left here, and we'll move on to the next exercise. Nice and smooth, girls, looks good, keep it up. And rest. Okay, next exercise. We're gonna need the open space on the wall. We're gonna slide down to a wall sit. Remember, heels are gonna be directly underneath my knees. Thighs as close to, uh, parallel to the ground as you can get. Okay, and we're gonna work on marching, picking one leg up, alternating sides, okay? Two, one, go. So I'm here, good position, shins perpendicular to the floor, and I'm working on alternating, picking one leg up, should be nice and slow, no one should be rushing, okay? Just nice and smooth. Really trying to get those quads to burn, right? Use the abs, stay nice and tight. Try not to list too far one way or the other when we're switching legs. Nice and stable, abs should push that lower back against the ground, or against the wall, excuse me. Past halfway, nice and smooth. Enjoy that burn. If you need to take a little bit of a break, just stand up, slide along the wall, count down from three, and go right back into it. Two leg exercises back to back, trying to crush them early, right? Looking good, we're almost there. Hang in there. And rest, okay. Next movement is called a round the world plank. You're gonna be in a high plank. So here, push up position. I'm gonna widen my feet so they're just wider than the shoulder width. Back is nice and flat. One arm comes up, back down, other arm up. One leg, other leg, and then if we can, opposite arm, opposite leg, opposite arm, opposite leg. We're gonna repeat that cycle for 60 seconds, okay? Two, one, go. Here we go. One arm, other arm, one leg, other leg, Opposite arm, opposite leg. Opposite arm, opposite leg. The whole time, we're trying to keep our back as close to parallel to the ground as you can. Nice and flat, all right? Keep those hips stable. Make sure they're not wiggling, okay? That's what's gonna work and engage our abs the most. Smooth and smooth, control, control. Lift the arm slowly, lift the leg slowly. Everything should be nice and stable and controlled. It's all right if you get a little off balance. Just try to bring it back and stay controlled. And rest, okay. So rolling on to our hip bone. We're gonna be our forearm and our elbow. Legs are gonna be just in front of us like this. We're gonna rotate our hips back so we're kind of sitting on the glute. From here, I'm gonna bring both legs up and try to touch my hand, okay? Here like this. We can also bend the knees in like that. All of you have long legs, right? So 
doing our best to either one of those two is fine. We're gonna go 30 seconds on this side, 30 seconds on the other. Two, one, go. So squeeze it up. Use those abs and those obliques to lift. We should be balancing on the glute muscle itself, okay? Lifting those legs up. Squeeze those abs, squeeze those obliques. Double ab action here, right? Back to back ab exercises. Supporting ourselves with that opposite elbow and forearm. Really feeling those abs and obliques work and switch. Other side. All right, same exact thing in two, one, go. Up and squeeze, balance on the meat of the glute. This is our last exercise in the first round of this circuit. So we'll start back up here in just a second with those curtsy lunges. Smooth movement. Keep it up, control especially on the way down. Squeeze those abs, squeeze those obliques. Finishing off round number one strong. And rest, okay. Standing up, going right into the alternating curtsy lunges for a minute. Two, one, go. Remember to reach back and behind the forward leg, okay? About a 45 degree angle. Keep that forward toe pointing straight ahead. Keep my chest straight ahead as well. Chest should be up, eyes should be straight ahead. No one should be dipping down, okay? Again, not a race, nice smooth movement. Just trying to control, try to get as much range of motion as you can. Get that knee as close to the ground as you can. You can touch the ground even better. Just don't hit it too hard there, right? So nice and smooth here, control, control. When we finish these, we're going to those single leg alternating wall sits, right? Good, smooth movement, awesome, tempo's good. Keep it up, pushing through that burn. And switch, right into the wall sits. Find your wall, sliding down, two, one, go. So we're working on picking up one foot at a time. Remember, shins should be close to perpendicular to the floor. 90 degrees, okay? Pick those legs up slow. We're alternating. Don't let the hips or the uh, shoulders sway side to side. Abs are nice and tight. Keep the heels directly underneath your knee. Don't let them get too far out. That's cheating, right? We want those legs to work. Don't cheat yourself out of work. Get everything where it's supposed to be right in alignment. Make those muscles work and protect the joints. Awesome work. Last 10, 15 seconds or so, and we're gonna go into the around the world high plank again. That'll be for 60 seconds as well. And switch. So high plank in two, one, go. Back nice and flat, one arm, other arm, one leg, other leg. Move them nice and slow. Opposite arm, opposite leg, opposite arm, opposite leg. Back should stay flat the whole time. Don't let your butt creep up in the air. Keep the back flat. Keep your shoulders over your wrists as best you can. If you wanna make it even more challenging, you can do a little bit of a pause, okay? Force yourself to hold there. It'll make it just that little bit harder, okay? And again, if you need more stability, widen your feet a little bit, that'll help. Good job, everybody, keep it up, these are tough. We're going to the oblique via raises next. And switch. Here we go, on the forearm, rolling onto the, the uh, meaty part of the glute, going in two, one, go. Lift those legs up, you can keep them straight. Okay, you can bend them in, whichever works better for you. Okay, we're trying to sit right on the glute so we're not on the hip bone. Lift those legs up, squeeze the abs, 
and then control slowly on the way down. Nice work so far. And switch. Okay, right into the other side. Two, one, go. Nice and smooth. Squeeze those abs, lift those legs. Again, you can bend the knees if you need to. Nice, smooth movement here. Keep it up, finishing off that second round strong. We've got one more to go. We got a lot of cardio stuff to do today, so get excited. Get excited now, right? Enjoy this while we can, and rest. Okay, curtsy lunges, final round through this first circuit, and then we're moving on. Two, one, go. Alternating curtsy lunges for a minute here. Like I said, enjoy this. Cardio's coming. We got some hard stuff to do today. So enjoy this nice, nice smooth movement while you can. Focus on your technique, focus on your form. Get that foot reaching back behind the forward leg about a 45 degree angle. Get as close to that back knee, touching the ground as you can. Push through your heel. Don't let that knee go in front of the toe. We're looking good. We've got single leg, alternating wall sits coming up next. We're doing great so far. Doing great so far. Keep it up. Almost there, girls. Hang in there. And switch. Okay, right into single leg wall sits. Sliding down the wall. Okay, two, one, go. Picking one leg up. Putting it back down. I went with this angle so you could see how my legs are at 90 degrees. My thighs are parallel to the ground. I'm not way out here. I'm not up like this. Get down low. Challenge yourself. Get those quads burning. Stability is key, very key. Nice and slow, pick one leg up, put it down. Alternate sides. Awesome work so far. Enjoy that burn, right? Last 20 seconds or so, we're going to the high plank around the world are coming up next for 60 seconds. And switch, okay, two, one, go. High plank, widen the feet. One arm, other arm, one leg, other leg, opposite arm, opposite leg, and then the other side. Nice and smooth, nice and slow. Back stays flat, hips stay square. Take your time with these, all right? Do a little pause, really work on the stability. Keep those shoulders right over your wrists, all right, back should stay flat, stable, stable. Bring the arms and the legs always back down to the ground slowly. Don't let them plop down, okay? And rest. Okay, onto our side. Rolling onto the glute, forearm down, elbow down, oblique V-ups, last set of these in two, one, go. Squeeze at the top. Squeeze at the top. Resting on the meat of the glute. Upper body's just staying nice and still, nice and stable. Lower body, we're trying to bring those legs up as high as we can. Squeeze the abs, squeeze the obliques to get them up there. Awesome, control slowly on the way down. 30 more seconds on the other side, it's coming up, and then we're moving on. And switch, right into this side, in two, one, go. Right into it, girls, keep it up. This is our last exercise of the third round 
of the first circuit. We're making progress. Got a little sweat going. Heart rate should be a little bit elevated, but we should be in pretty good control right now. Okay? We've got two intense cardio circuit circuits coming up after this to help us with our conditioning. So we got that to look forward to. And rest. Okay. So our next cardio circuit, we're gonna need our jump rope. Okay, first 60 seconds and last 60 seconds will be jump rope, and there'll be four 30 second intervals in between, and I'll show you those moves when we get there, if I can ever untangle my rope, okay? I'll show you those moves when we get there, okay? So starting with 60 seconds for the jump rope, here in two, one, go. Single jumps, nice and smooth and efficient, right? No waste in motion. We're still gonna have three more minutes of cardio total in this round. So we wanna make sure we don't burn ourselves out in this first jump rope circuit. Nice and smooth. No wasted motion. Looking good. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Last couple seconds, last couple reps. And rest. Okay. 30 seconds, we're doing tuck jumps. We're going to start here. You're going to jump up, bring your legs up as high as you can and touch your knees. Land softly. So it's going to look like this. Jump, land soft. Jump, land soft. I want you to absorb the shock. Nobody should be jumping like this just yet, okay? Jump high, knees touch the hands, land soft, okay? Gather and then jump again. 30 seconds, two, one, go. So jump, soft landing. Jump high, soft landing, okay? Try to absorb that shock, get those knees up nice and high. Ninja landing, right? No one should hear your feet hit the ground. We're doing really good, keep it up. Absorb that shock. And rest. Next, 30 seconds double pump jump squats. We're gonna go down, one, two, jump. One, two, jump. One, two, jump, okay? 30 seconds. Two, one, go. Double pump, jump. Double pump, jump. Control that shock. Make sure we're pushing our knees out so that our knees are following the direction of our toes. Absorb the shock on the way down. You're controlling the height of the jump. Okay, ninja landing here, ninja landing. Almost there, hang in there. And rest. Okay, next are speed skaters without a curtsy lunge. So I'm gonna start on my outside leg, jump to the other outside leg, control, balance, and go back. Okay, here to here, I want depth. No one should be standing up nice and tall. Get down nice and low. Bend at the hips, not at the waist. Two, one, go. Control. Absorb the shock. Again, we should never hear our foot hit the ground. I'm going to hit ball, midfoot, heel, okay? That's what we're trying to do. Hit the ball of the foot first, and then let the heel hit the ground. That way we're absorbing the shock. We have 30 seconds here. We're doing great. Control, control. Again, not about the speed, all about controlling the movement. And rest, okay. Last 30 second interval, split jumps. Drop down, again. Shin should be perpendicular to the ground. Switch in midair. Try to get your knees close to touching the ground as you can when you switch. Absorb the shock, ninja landing. Use the muscles, not the joints. Here we go, two, one, go. 30 seconds, good depth, good control. Try to get as close to touching 
that back knee to the ground as you can. Awesome work, girls. I know those legs are burning. You're doing great. Control that shot. Good depth, good range of motion, making sure that knee's not going in front of the toe. And rest, okay. Last 60 seconds in the first round of this circuit is jump rope in two, one, go. Last 60 seconds, we're gonna break. Control that breathing. Nice and efficient with this jump rope. No wasted energy, no wasted motion. We're doing great, keep it up. Finishing off this first round strong. Kicking butt, keep it up, keep it up. Last 10 seconds, hang in there, hang in there. As I take the paint off my walls. <laughs> rest. All right, a little under 30 second rest. Catch the breath, deep in, deep out. You girls are doing great so far. We're through one round, we got two more of those to go. Awesome job so far, okay? Deep breath, water if we need it. A little bit more cardio in the circuit, so we're gonna actually give you a break. So enjoy it, right? It's rare that you get those with me. It's like a vacation almost. All right, so we're starting again with the jump rope here in just a couple seconds, okay? So get ready. We're going through that exact same progression again. Here we go, round number two, jump rope for 60 seconds. In two, one, go. Here we go, 60 seconds. Start round number two. Start it strong. Second round's always the toughest because it's the middle one, right? First one, you're figuring out what to expect. Third one, you know what to expect and you're almost done. So you got a lot of motivation. This is the one where we have to push hard. So stay focused. You have a really good effort on this round. And rest, okay. Tuck jumps, 30 seconds, bringing those knees up as high as we can. Absorb the shock on the landing. Two, one, go. Jump up high, land soft. Ninja landing, jump up high. Land soft. Control, right? No one should be hitting the ground hard. Jump high, but land soft. Again, ninja, ninja, ninja. No elephants, right? No hippos. Awesome work, nice soft landing. And rest, okay. Double pump jump squats, 30 seconds, two, one, go. Double pump, jump. Double pump, jump. Absorb the shock. Use the muscles in the legs. Protect those knees and hips. Get the hips and butt down, all right? Make sure we're not bending over here at the waist. All of the bending should come from the hips. Hips and butt down. Get those legs and glutes working. Not getting much jump here, right? Everybody else is, you can measure our vertical of the credit card. <laughs> and rest. Speed skaters, okay? Two, one, go. Control. Bend the knee, bend the hip. Get nice and low. More about the control than it is about the height or the distance of the jump for today. Okay, pause. Check that dynamic balance. Okay, making sure we can hold and then transitioning to the other side. And rest, okay, split jumps. 
Last 30 second interval, and then we have our last jump rope. Two, one, go. Split jumps. Control. Good depth. Sinking straight down. Knee should touch the ground. Get as close to the ground as you can. Alternating legs. Absorb the shock. Don't let the forward knee go in front of the toe. Sink straight down. Absorb the shock with the muscles. Protect those joints. Soft landing here, okay? Ninja, ninja. I know it's burning. And rest. Okay, last 60 seconds of the second round. In two, one, go. Jump rope. All right. Whoops, I got a nod. That's all right. 60 seconds here. Nice and smooth. No wasted energy. No wasted motion. Don't forget we get a break after this. Whoops. Nice and efficient. No more energy expended than what you need. Smooth. Focus on that breathing. Deep in, deep out. Finishing off the second round nice and strong. And rest. All right, girls, two rounds down. One more to go. We're doing great so far. Deep in, deep out. Try to get yourself as close to fully recovered as you can before this third set comes, okay? We only got 30 seconds. Maybe you can go on a vacation in your mind, travel the world, whatever you need to to kind of mentally prepare yourself for this third round, because we got another tough circuit coming up after this, okay? Deep breath in, deep breath out. Try to breathe through your belly button. Stomach should expand and then close it back off, okay? We're gonna start with 60 seconds jump rope again. And make our way through that circuit one more time, okay? I know we're pouring sweat, we're sucking wind. That's part of the fun. Here we go. Last set. Let's enjoy it. Two, one, go. 60 seconds jump rope to start us off. Nice and smooth. Again, didn't control that breathing. Deep in, deep out. No wasted motion, nice and efficient. Little baby jumps. Let that rope slide right underneath the feet. Awesome work. We're going to the tuck jumps for 30 seconds next. And rest. Awesome, okay, here we go. 30 seconds tuck jumps. Bring those knees up nice and high. Soft landing, okay? Two, one, go. Soft landing, absorb the shock. Okay, don't rush your feet to the ground. Let gravity take you back down. Use the muscles to absorb that shock. No sound, little sound, okay? That's what we're looking for. Ninja, ninja, right? Soft and smooth. Rest, okay, done with those guys. We're doing the double pump jump squats for 30 next. Two, one, go. Double pump, jump. Absorb the shock on the way down. Get the hips and butt down as low as you can on these, okay? Absorb the shock. Ninja landing, right? Doing great. We got the speed skaters coming up next. Not as much about the vertical on these, obviously, as it is about jumping and absorbing the shock. Rest. Okay, speed skaters, side to side, outside leg, outside leg. Bend at the hip, not at the waist. 
two, one, go. Control, okay? Get that solid pause so that you know you're in control, shifting side to side. Awesome, looks really good, keep it up. We got our last 30 second interval of split jumps next, and then our last minute of jump rope, and we're moving on. You girls are doing awesome. Keep it up. And rest, okay. Here comes the fun one, last 30 second split jumps. Two, one, go. Last 30 here. Absorb that shock as much. Range of motion all the way down as you can. Control is the name of the game. Let it burn, all right? Get those muscles firing, get them working. Get them screaming at you. Almost there, hang in there. And rest. All right, last 60 second jump rope. Here we go. Finish it off in the second circuit, third round. Two, one, go. Last minute, we'll get a break. Nice and smooth. Remember, we get a break after this. Find your breathing. You're in control. Way to finish, girls. Keep it up. And rest. All right. Done with that circuit, okay? Done with the jump rope, we can get that out of the way. Everything else is gonna be body weight. Catch your breath, water if you need it, I'm gonna start demoing for the next circuit, okay? So we're gonna have an eight minute time block. That means it's continuously moving for eight minutes, okay? If you need a rest at any point, take it, water, grab it, anything like this, okay? First movement, side shuffle, 10 to 15 feet, okay, here. And back is one. Okay, one lap. You're gonna do three laps when you finish those. Two broad jumps, we should be able to cover that 10 to 15 feet. Here, soft landing, absorb the shock, jump again. And then back pedal would be one. We're gonna do three laps. When you're done with that, bear crawl. Here, walking forward, 10 to 15 feet. Backwards to the start line would be one. We're gonna do three, okay? Here's the twist. Every minute on the minute, you have to do three sprawls. So on the first minute, down here, okay? You're gonna do three of those. You stop wherever you're at, do your three sprawls, start back where you left off, okay? Eight minutes, continuous. One minute, two minute, three minute, four minute, five minute, six minute, seven minute, eight minutes. We're gonna do the three sprawls, okay? And again, just in case you missed it, sprawl is that, okay? We're starting with the side shuffle first, three laps, two, one, go. Nice and low, bend the knees, okay? Shove the hips and butt back. You're doing three full laps. Okay, a lap is down and back. When you're done, broad jump, absorb the shock. A second broad jump, absorb the shock. Back pedal, okay? Three of those. Absorb, absorb the shock. I don't care so much about the distance of the jump as much as I care about controlling with the muscles. Sinking the hips and butt back when we land. When you finish those, three laps bear crawl. Forward, 10 to 15 feet. Backwards, 10 to 15 feet. That's one lap. And there's two and we're going to three. All right, and we start it all back over, back with those Side shuffles. At the first minute, we're doing sprawls. So in two, one, go. Three sprawls. Everybody's on three sprawls. Stop whatever you're doing. Right into it. Now, wherever you left off, you're gonna start right back again. All right? Keep yourself moving. This is a burner. 
okay? It's tough, so stay in it, okay? Focus on your technique and your form. If you need a break, take it. If you need water, grab it, all right? Focus on good quality movement and keeping yourself moving. Awesome work so far, girls. Keep it up, keep pushing. Absorb the shock, all right? Remember, we're ninjas in training, as soft as you can be on those landings. We're coming up close to that second minute, so get ready for those sprawls. Two, one, sprawl. Three more. Great work. Start back up wherever you left off. All right? Keep yourself moving. We're doing great. Awesome job, everybody. Awesome job. Technique, technique, technique. All right? If it starts to break down, take a little break. Whew. Catch your breath, count down from five. Maybe count down from 10 if you need to. Grab a little water, and then keep yourself moving. All right? Always technical failure, not muscular failure. We're doing great, keep it up. We're getting close to that third minute. So get ready for those sprawls. Two, one, three more sprawls. We're doing awesome, keep it up. Keep it up. Pushing hard, we're doing great. This is the most fun we've had so far, right? We always gotta say, the best for last. That's how it works, it's like the dessert. Keep it up, girls. Way to go, way to go, way to go, way to go. I know those legs are on fire. Again, take a break if you need to, okay? Catch your breath. We're getting close to that fourth minute, which will be the halfway point, which means more sprawls. Two, one, go. Three sprawls. Beautiful. Keep it up, we're doing great. We're past the halfway point. That means it's only gonna get twice as bad as it feels right now. That's nothing, right? We can handle it. No big deal. You guys are doing great. Keep pushing. Awesome, awesome. Keep working. You're getting close to that fifth minute, which means three more sprawls are coming up. We're doing awesome. Just try to keep yourself moving consistently. Two, one, three sprawls. Here we go. Awesome. Keep it up. We're doing fantastic. Get on those jumps, shorten the distance, control the shock, okay? Baby jumps, we wanna work the muscles in the legs. We're not so much going for as much height or distance as we can get right now, it's all about control. Learning to decelerate, okay? Keep it up. We're getting close to that sixth minute, we're doing great. Keep it up. Three, two, one, three sprawls. Here we go. We're doing great. Awesome job. Less than two minutes left in the whole workout. Final push. We can do anything for two minutes, all right? Keep it up.
minute and a half, 90 seconds. Sprint to the finish, right? Controlled sprint to the finish. Keep it up, we're doing fantastic. Nice job, way to finish here, girls. Awesome. We're getting close. So those sprawls again. Two, one, three more sprawls. Great work. You know what that means? Less than a minute left. Less than a minute left. We are almost there. Thirty seconds. Last set of sprawls, and we're done. Hang in there. Finish strong, girls. Dig deep. Home stretch here. Last 15 seconds. Way to finish. All right. Last three sprawls and we're done. Count them out. One. Two. Three. Done. Great work today. Episode five to five in the books. Leg and lung burner. Fantastic job. Way to push. You are done. Stretch. Drink water. Eat within an hour. Take, take a uh, nice long sleep tonight. Get as much sleep as you can, okay? Great work today. I'll see you next time. Have a great rest of the day. Have a great week.